These are the 4.5 notes for pre-calc. We are going to be finding zeros given a complex zero. So the first thing we're going to do on our warm-up is multiply two complex numbers together. You're going to be foiling this. So when you work with i's, it's the same as working with x's. i squared, if you remember, is negative 1. So anytime you see this i squared, we're going to replace it with a negative 1. So this will be 9 times negative 1, which is just negative 9. Then you're going to add your real numbers together, the negative 8 and the negative 9, to get negative 17. And you're going to add the imaginary numbers, negative 6i and positive 12i, to get positive 6i. Take a moment to see if you can do the next one. Foiling should have looked like this. Your i squared turns to negative 1, which gives you negative 18 times negative 1, which gives you a positive 18. Combine your real numbers, 8 and 18, to make 26. And when you combine your imaginary numbers, 12i and negative 12i, those are actually going to cancel out. So you're left with just an answer of 26. All right, let's go ahead and get started with our work for today. So find the zeros of the polynomial. Notice if it's x to the third, you have three zeros. This one right here that they give you, zero is two minus three i. That is one. I'll need two more, two and three zeros total. If I know two minus three i is an answer, I also know two plus three i is an answer. They always come in pairs. So you're gonna put two minus three i on the outside here. Give yourself some space to write. 1, line up the coefficients, negative 6, 21, negative 26. And we'll do our synthetic division. Bring down the 1, multiply the numbers on the outside, so 2 minus 3i times 1 is 2 minus 3i. Combine like terms, negative 6 and 2 makes negative 4, and just bring down the minus 3i. Now this part right here, 2 minus 3i, times negative 4 minus 3i, that's actually what we did right up here on our warm-up. So let's just go ahead and write our answer of negative 17 plus 6i right here. Okay. Normally you would have to FOIL those, but we already did that up here. Combine your like terms. 21 and negative 17 makes 4. Bring down the 6i. Then you would multiply 2 minus 3i times a 4 plus 6i, but look, on our warm-up, we already did that as well. So we can just write our answer of positive 26. That gets you 0, which is what we needed to get. If we didn't get 0, we would have to start over. Then we do that same thing one more time with our conjugate pair, 2 plus 3i. This one's going to cancel out a lot easier. Bring down the 1. 1 times anything gets me that same thing, so 2 plus 3i, and things will start to cancel out on the second row. The 3i's cancel, I get negative 2. And this one I can just multiply. Negative 2 times 2 plus 3i, that's pretty easy to do. Just distribute that. I'll write that underneath here. And notice those cancel, as well as those cancel, and that gets me 0. 0 times anything is 0, and I add the zeros together to make 0. At the very end, we have to talk about our depressed equation. Our equation started off being x to the third. We did synthetic division twice, so this becomes just a regular x. x minus 2 equals 0, giving us an answer of positive 2. All right. So for the next problem, example number two, notice again it's a degree three. 
this is one of your zeros. Notice that's a combination. That's a complex number. That's one piece together. It's not a negative one and an i. So we'll have two more, negative one minus i. And I'll start with doing the negative one plus i on the outside. One, three, four, and two. The first one's pretty easy to multiply. One times anything is that thing, so I'll just bring this down. Combine like terms, three plus negative one makes two, and I'll bring down this i. Then at this point, I'm gonna multiply this and this together, so I'm gonna have to do that off to the side. And this is gonna be a foiling problem. So now would be a good time to pause the video, try to foil that, and then start it back up when you're done. Negative two minus one i plus two i plus i squared. i squared becomes just negative one. Combine like terms. Negative two and negative one makes negative three. And the negative one i, positive two i makes positive one i or positive i. I'm going to take that and put that answer right here. Then I'll combine like terms. 4 and negative 3 is 1. Bring down the i. And I'll do that whole process one more time. So for each of these, you're going to end up doing two foiling problems. Negative 1 plus i multiplied with 1 plus i. Again, now's a good time to pause the video, work this one out, and make sure you can do it. Negative one and negative one makes negative two, and the negative i and the positive i cancels each other out, and so I'm just left with a negative two. I'll write that answer right there which looks like I did it correctly because we get those as a zero. All right, now the next level is pretty simple compared to the one we just did. We're going to use the conjugate pair on the outside, negative 1 minus i. Things cancel out pretty nicely on this second time around. Notice the i's cancel there. Gets me 1. And multiply, cancels and cancels, gets me zero, and zero. I did synthetic division twice, so I get x plus one equals zero, so my final answer is negative one. All right, and example number three. We've got an x to the fourth, so degree four means there's gonna be four answers. So my zeros, one, two, three, and four. They give me one of them as i, so I'll write that in. I know the other one automatically is negative i, so I'll write that in as well. All right, I'll put an i on the outside. And notice here how the four jumps from a four to a two and then to x to the zero. So we want to think about this problem as x to the fourth plus zero x to the third plus 26 x squared plus zero x plus 25. That's really the problem that we're working on. So we'll put a one, a zero, a 26, a zero, and a 25. Okay. Watch for those missing exponents there. All right, we'll bring down the one. 1 times i is 1i, but 0 plus 1i just gets me 1i. i times 1i would get me 1i squared. i squared is negative 1, so that would get me an answer of negative 1. I'll write my answer of negative 1 right here. Combine it with the 26 to make 25 i times 25 is 25i. Thankfully, I have another zero right there, so I just end up with 25i. And then i times 25i 
it will give me 25i squared. 25i squared would be 25 times negative 1, which gets me negative 25. Notice here how these cancel out, and I get an answer of 0, which is always what you're looking for. Do that same thing with a negative i. Bring down the 1. Multiply negative i times 1 to get negative 1i. Notice the cancellation. 0 times anything is 0. 25 plus 0 is 25. Negative i times 25, negative 25i, cancels out to make 0. 0 times negative i, 0, and add those together to get 0. So I had a degree 4 polynomial, and I did synthetic division twice. So my depressed equation is going to be x squared, because it started off with a 4, and I did this twice, so it lowers it one time each time I do synthetic division. This would represent my 0x. So I don't actually need to write that in my formula, in my equation. I'm just going to write plus 25. In order to solve this, we are going to move the 25 to the other side by subtracting. And then I square root. Normally I can't square root a negative number. But this one is asking for all the zeros, so I'm going to write it as plus and minus 5i, which means that my final answers are i, negative i, 5i, and negative 5i. Right. Same thing with the last one. You notice it's a degree 4 polynomial, so your zeros are negative 4i. And then we have three more that are missing. Immediately we know our second one is positive 4i. This equation should probably be written as x to the fourth plus 0x to the third plus 25x squared plus 0x plus 144. We have to put the zeros in to show that there is no x to the third and there is no x. 1, 0, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, Otherwise, I'm going to go through this one pretty quickly. So again, feel free to pause any time that you need if I'm working too fast. All right, so I got to zero on the first round. I'm going to do that same thing with the second round using the positive 4i. Again, this one cancels out a lot faster. So again, if you need to, pause, try it, and then start the video back up. Right, so we got another zero at the end, which means we did that one correctly. 
The last thing we're going to do is write the depressed equation. It started off with a degree, degree 4. Notice the 4 right there. You did synthetic division twice, once right there, twice right there. So you're going to lower it by 2 degrees. This 1 right here becomes 1x squared. I don't need to write the 1 in front, though. This 0 would represent 0x. I don't need to write that because it's a 0. And then plus the 9. I can set that equal to 0 and solve it. Subtract 9 from both sides. Square root a negative. That's going to get me imaginary numbers. Plus and minus. Square root of 9 is 3. The negative makes an imaginary. So my final list of zeros is negative 4i, positive 4i, 3i, and negative 3i. You might also see them write it like this, plus and minus 4i and plus and minus 3i. If you like that better, that's fine too. All right, nice job.